jobs. Monica, thank you. Coronavirus has dramatically changed the way people around the world are celebrating Palm Sunday. Uh, it will likely affect the way that people celebrate upcoming holidays like Easter, like Passover, like Ramadan uh, as well. As leaders and officials enforce social distancing and hand washing to slow the spread of coronavirus, a refugee organization is teaming up with nuns to help prepare and prevent against the virus globally. I'm joined now by Daniel Wardsworth. He is the president and CEO of uh, a light, Sister Irene, she's the founder and director of uh, Sisters Rising Worldwide. Uh, Daniel, I'll start with you. Just tell us a little bit more about the, the new initiative that started today, as I understand it, and how you linked up with, with Sisters Rising Worldwide. Right. So when, when we think about the COVID epidemic, often we forget that there are places like throughout Africa, Asia, Latin America, that are particularly vulnerable and they don't have the, the, the systems in place to protect their populations. And so that's the very areas where we work, in refugee camps, with people affected by conflict, in some of the poorest countries in the world, places like Somalia, Congo, uh, inside Myanmar, uh, El Salvador. And so we're trying to help prepare those communities for this pandemic and make sure they can protect themselves and survive this. And when we were thinking about how are we going to reach these millions of people and get them ready? And we'd already had this partnership with Catholic Sisters. And, and the way I think about the Catholic Sisters, they're like the McDonald's of doing good. They're on every corner in the world. They're living in every single neighborhood and they're doing remarkable work. And so what we wanted to do was come alongside them, prepare them and unleash them in their communities in a way that they're already unleashed, but actually in a way that can help them prepare themselves, protect themselves, and then protect their communities from this COVID-19 pandemic. And that's why we reached out to the sisters. And Sister Irene is the leader in them. Sister Irene, your, your group has more than 700,000 sisters all over the world. How important has it been to communicate uh, the, the best ways to prevent this virus with them and the, the people uh, in the refugee camps uh, where, where they work? Well, actually, it's been a matter of life and death because the sisters themselves um, are, have been on front lines of like the flu epidemic in, in 1918. And what they do is when there's trouble, they go right to where it is. And so it's been really important for us to make sure that they're safe so that they can get the message out to the people they're serving. Of course, they're working on the edges of society there and with people who are most vulnerable and messages don't get through to them, you know, or they're in crowds, they're homeless on the streets or they're um, in shelters. And so the, this hand message to say, take care of yourself and for the sisters to be able to take care of themselves and take care of the others is, is just vitally important. We are so blessed to be working with a light. They're um, really helping us um, protect our community and the people we're serving. Uh, Sister Irene, uh, again, we are on this, this, this Palm Sunday, a week from Easter. Um, a, a, a significant milestone for us as Christians. Um, what would you say to people who are watching, who are listening, who are uh, justifiably anxious and nervous, uh, who are struggling right now with, with their faith? What would, what would you tell them to provide some sort of uh, comfort and solace? Well, I really think that, um, that, a per, that like sisters take a prophetic call for compassion and we do it for all people, all creeds, all faiths, all, all um, races. It, it's all people, all times. And it's not just in Holy Week. We do it year round. And we think that that's what Jesus was teaching us too, is to love your neighbor without distinction and to reach out in compassion and stay safe and stay home. <laughs> Uh, we found our, our sisters in some parts of the world, even where they're in lockdown, believe it or not. And when the lights go down at night, they put a candle in the window so that the people that are out there know that they're still with them and thinking of them. And so I think there's a lot you can do with your heart and, um, and just care for people in compassion. And I think that's what Jesus was teaching us. Amen, sister. Thank you. Thank you both. Um, again, ladies and gentlemen, we are watching the White House very closely.